Um, and for all those reasons, Mr. Tomino didn't just give us a really good science fiction show. He helped push what television anime was into a new direction. He opened the door to sorts of stories that were not just about battles and not just about toys, but were also about people, the, the difficulties we go through, about the, the world we're caught up in. Uh, and in that way, Gundam is so much more than Gundam. It was a gift to us and a gift to anime. And so I hope we can kind of pay back that gift right now by wel welcoming Mr. Tamino to the stage with a huge round of applause.
い今作り直しててこれからあの評価を上げようと思ってるんだから皆さん応援してください。Which is why I'm remaking it right now because I'm hoping that this time it will be popular. So you better all support it. <笑>40年前にはスペースコロニーを回転させることができませんでしたそれができるようになったという意味では徹底的に今のデジタル技術というものに感謝をしていますスペースコロニー,スペースコロニーです、えーえー、と人工衛星という言い方をしてくれるのはドーナツ型の人工衛星という言い方をしてくれているんです So、um, there's just one thing that I would say that、uh, I can do now With the new technology, especially digital animation that I couldn't do 40 years ago, is to、um, create、uh, more、uh, um, different types of space colonies and、um, the bases. I, I really want to create a donut shaped <laughs> base. And the fact that, you know, You know, I can do that now with digital animation is a, is a very big plus. Can I ask why a donut shaped face? ドーナツが足りないと,、えー、と回転させて遠心力で疑似重力を発生させることができないからドーナツが足りないんです。そしてスペースコロニーも、えー、円筒形にしてあって回転をさせているから回転の外側に。完成重力がかかって疑似,疑似重力が発生します疑似重力を逆算する、はい、ですから基本的に、えー、人工衛星というのはドーナツが当たらなければいけません So actually for those of you who know astronomy you know that it's the donut shape that when it rotates helps create artificial gravity、yeah. and that's why you know because I can recreate that with the だから、えー、と人工衛星っていうのは回転をしていなければあの中が、えー、と疑似重力が発生をしないので現在の ISS わかります、うん、のように、えー、と無重力体、えー、無重力の状態で暮らさなければいけません。でそれではあの人は暮らしていけないと思いますので、基本はドーナツ型もしくは、えー、とリング状にしてあの回転をさせるということをしています。So of course, if it's not donut shape, then you wouldn't have artificial gravity. So if any of you have ever seen、uh, images from the International Space Station, you can see that they, the astronauts are working and living under Zero gravity、uh, environment, and that's really not、um, conducive to everyday life. Fair. Now, I'm going to ask you a question about the job of 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 the job
I, I'd like to actually um, do a, a little bit of a commercial plug here. If I can. <laughs> oh, look at me, of course. And, uh, So I actually started off in TV animation. So um, personally, I prefer working in film because it, it was a new genre for me. And then, uh, except with that, I, I couldn't necessarily really do the licensing I wanted to do, which is why I started writing novels. And it was only through novels that pe people in Japan finally got to know me, uh, Tomino, as the original creator of Gundam. That makes a lot of sense. I'm curious um, how you feel your experiences over the last 40 years have changed you as a storyteller. If you find you're telling different stories or are interested in different things. It's very serious. <laughs> In short, you know, to be here and to meet all of you and have actually have fun, is it, it, it's something good for me because it makes me continue to think about the future. So you think about it, it's actually, as a human being, it's a little bit more 
、いい形で進化をしていけるんじゃないのかっていうそういう考え方をもう一度自分の中で、えー、期待を込めて語っていけるっていうそういうふうな心持ちになれるのではないのかなとは思っています。And so, in terms of what I mean by I have to rethink and, and, and use this experience to、uh, think about the future, is what I mean is that I have to look at how I can envision humankind evolving in a good direction and hold on to hope and continue to bring more stories. えー、僕はこの年になってしまったんですけどこういう会場に来てくれている、あのー、若い若い子つまりティーンエイジャー以下の子どもたちがもし大人たちがこういうふうに思ってるってことがちょっともち、あのー、いけないんじゃないのかっていうようなことを感じてくれる人たちが新しい物語を作ってくれる新しい作品を作ってくれる新しいアニメーションを作ってくれることによって。希望というものを手に入れられるんじゃないかと思います。And so, I want, you know, most of all, what I want to say is that, you know, I'm at this age, but for those of you here in this space, in this convention center, especially those of you who are young, and, I, and by young, I mean teens or younger,、um, I want you to be like, man, adults shouldn't be so dark and depressing and be down, or I want you to think that's bad. Because I want you to then go home and think of、um, to have hope and to create yet new ideas and new concepts、um, by, by seeing negative examples of it. So, in this way, the event is going to be a very important thing. It's 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 a very important thing. いい解決策を見つけてくれるんじゃないのかなってことを期待するで期待していいんじゃないのかというようなことを今日本当にこういうような会場で教えられています。So I'm hoping to help be part of an experience that will teach you that to those of you who have gathered here for this event in such a fun, positive atmosphere, I want you to go back and create new animation that tackles real problems, real life problems, and within the creative process, Possibly propose and find new solutions for that as well. In this meeting, the, the great New York City is、uh, include a very great, 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 number. <laughs> <laughs> Coming here to New York City this time, I really felt deeply that perhaps this here, New York City, is the best place that can give birth to new hopes. Now, こういうふうに言えるのは実を言うと、他のいくつかの都市でやった今このような皆さん方の集まりを見て見ましたので、それと比較をしてのことです。ニューヨークに集まっている皆さん方の空気感というのはもうちょっとなんていうのかな、えー、カラフルであっていろいろなものがあの集まっているそういう人たちが集まれたということでなんかすごくあの落ち込まないですねっていうそういう空気感というものをこの会場が持っているということに正直驚いてます。I've actually been、um, recently to many similar gatherings in other cities, in other places across the world. And yet, and I'm, so I'm making a comparison here, but I feel that the emotional atmosphere of Anime NYC here in New York City is so much more colorful and diverse than some of the other places I've been. And so、um, I realize that it, it actually doesn't get me down. I, I, can, I myself can remain very positive as well. You. You. you just touched on a lot of this already to some degree, but Gundam has communicated a 
lot of different themes over the last 40 years. And I'm curious if you would speak about which of those mean the most to you. Do you have any ideas about what comes after the Regal Century? questions uh, from the audience. Thank you all for lining up so well. As always, uh, please keep your questions uh, kind of brief and focused on the Gundam series that Mr. Tomino has worked on that would help keep things really moving. There's so many of you. We'd like to get to as many as you as we can. Uh, let's start over here. Thank you for Gundam and Voltus. I have a question about Turn A Gundam. Will we ever get a prequel to Turn A Gundam to see how Earth became what it was in the correct century? So earlier this year, I had the opportunity of going to Japan for the first time. 
And during my trip, I was able to go to two places that were very important. The first place was the Sunrise Studios in Tokyo on April 5th. There, I passed out these stickers to the staff there. These are my original designs of hip hop women. My original take on them, that is. Please chill. So the staff was very kind and took my gifts. Uh, they couldn't give me a tour, but that's understandable. They were working on some movie projects. But I was happy to leave these gifts with them um, to say thank you. The second place I visited on April 7th, the anniversary of the was the Odaiba statue. While I was there, I continued to pass out these packs to people. <laughs> Ask the question. Ask the question. Do you actually have a question? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to ask because we do have quite a long line on each side, and we only have about half an hour. Right. So I approached these three boys and had them out. They gave the stickers, they gave the stickers, and they loved the stickers. So the point being, these are, I'm a foreigner. I'm giving them something that's unrelated, but something that they knew and they really enjoyed it. So, my point, so my question being, Venom has taken on many different forms. So my question to Tomino san is, if you had the opportunity to visit a, a new idea with Venom, where there weren't people, the main characters, in mobile suits, what kind of story would you tell? And, what would you try to leave as an impact for the audience? It's also, that's also something that I've never imagined was characters that don't put on mobile suits, so I'm afraid I don't have an answer that I can just pop out. Sorry. Um, yeah, um, I do have That's, that is, we're gonna have to move on at this point. Let that be an object lesson. Please try to stay as brief as possible. Try to stay focused on, on the question. Thank you so much. Well, I was actually gonna ask a little question too, but now I'm just gonna ask. Uh, uh, did you see the Zaku in Turkey? It's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you expect a robot. Chicago in 2006. Uh, my question is this. Uh, I had the ability to meet a Kibaksha at Hiroshima, um, and she told me that her universe was destroyed out of experience, and it created a responsibility in me to communicate light and to make sure that uh, nuclear uh, problems do not occur again. How can we as artists uh, 
provide messages of light and hope as you have done in Reconquista from showing uh, oh. light as power sources instead of nuclear.
えっと、作品を作ってくれるのは必要性からですそして、えっと、他人にお願いする、うん、してあの何度か失敗したようなケースがあったので自分でやらざるを得なくなったっていうことがありますで基本はそういうところですがな,なるべくつまりあの専門家に本当は作っていただきたいっていう気持ちもございます So,、um, I would say overall, it, was, it started at least as a necessity as a creator.、Um, I had a couple of examples early on where I asked others to、um, write the lyrics, and what I got back was not quite what I had imagined. So, in the beginning, that's why I decided to write the lyrics myself. But I do, as much as possible,、uh, try to rely on professional musicians, absolutely. In the blue. Uh, thank you for taking the questions.、Uh, I wanted to ask、uh, what inspires、uh, you to name a character? How do you connect、uh, the names to the personalities of those characters? What inspires them? The name of the character is a little bit more difficult. 毎回毎回本当にもう、うん、大汗をかいて作っていますそしてなるべく、えっとうん、これも難しいリアルな名前にしたくはないという思いがありますが基本的にそうはいかなくて、えー、結局実際にある名前を使わざるを得ないということが起こってまして。意識性のある名前を、あ、ミジーコの名前を作ろうとは思うんですけれども、現、えー、現在までのことで言えばこんなものですという形になっています。It, it's very challenging process to come up with names. Each and every time, I figuratively sweat profusely,、um, and it, it, it's a it's a very、um, momentous,、uh, gargantuan process.、Uh, especially because I don't. Want to try to use existing names? I'd like to come up with completely unique names, but I end up having to at least、um, use some existing names.、Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's very, very difficult. Okay, so、uh, I'm sure a lot of us started、uh, watching Gundam when we were too young to really understand the themes about like saving the earth and like,、uh, protecting nature. So, I'm wondering how you want. Uh, like the youngest people who are watching, like Gold Fighters, to understand the Gundam series and how that understanding evolves as they grow older. I'm not Growing up, you know, you watch as a kid, 
they had very you know mature themes, but we still like them. And then as adults, we go back and watch them again. And that's what I believe the true power of movies is. Somebody can go back and see and understand new things each time we watch them. And so I think I no longer think that I need to aim towards a younger audience. I feel like I can just create something that any age can watch and enjoy, but maybe they just gain different levels of understanding depending on what age they're at. My question is, I was always wondering, if, did you ever expect the popularity of this series to get so large that it's not just only popular in Japan, but just around the world, especially in our part of the world, since the attendance here clearly shows that it really is popular. So, これほど世界中のファンに憧れるシリーズだとは想像されてました。初めからもうブロンでました。初めから予定してました。It was always the master plan. Hello, Mr. Tomoko. I really enjoyed the Marvel series. Well, I mean, it's one of the reasons why I actually became a pilot due to you. Um, and my question is, what is your experience like working on a, a real life Gundam project that I believe is being unveiled next year? Uh, so you're a pilot yourself? Yes. えっと、あまりきっと好きになれないでしょう。you know, I was quite involved in the beginning, except that no one would listen to my opinions. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to actually be able to like it. Over <laughs> here. Thank you so much, Mr. Tino, for taking my question. Out of all the characters you've created over the years, which character do you relate or like the most? <laughs> Which character does Mr. Camino like the most? Or relate to? Or relate to? Yes. Sakti no shizmo ke omaji kodai na to kuri desu kero mo, kiyon to ki dare kare ga suki tei koto wa amari arimasen. Mushiro, chotto dake shizen shite mo atta kyarakter ma to tomo suki ni nat chau tei na case ga atta de suru no de, nan nan desho ne? So it's going to end up being a similar answer to a previous question, but I actually don't have favorites. Um, in fact, I often find myself uh, leaning or starting to like the really small background or supporting characters that only have a very minimal screen time. So if I had to say, I love all my characters. Tomino-sama, there was recently an interview you did with Japanese Playboy where you said that modern anime, particularly Makoto Shinkai's films, aren't sexy enough. So what anime is sexy enough for you? <laughs> Well, you're certainly right. That was 
Soul was written. <laughs> セクシーあのアニメーションでセクシーさということで言えば、おそらく皆さん方は想像つかないかもしれませんけれども、うんえー、と白雪姫、レディーそのあです。So、um, this might be hard for all of you to see, but in my mind, like an、um, image of a sexy animated character is Disney Snow White. <laughs> <laughs> For Gundam F91, we know that that was originally going to be a series, but had to be cut down to a movie. Since you like to、uh, redo things to like, update ideas, like you've redone the trilogy and stuff, have you ever considered wanting to redo that to get more of the story across, or does Cross One as a sequel cover what you have to do? Recognition that it deserves, and is there any of those non Gundam shows that you made that you, did, you recommend us Gundam fans to watch? He made other non Gundam shows. Are there any of those? Yeah. それはありませんっていうのは作り手が気に入っているからといってそれをあの、うん、見てくれというのは作品がちょっと出来が良くないからなんですですから人気がない作品っていうのは基本的に作品として成功していないからなのでえ口が曲がってもそれは言えません I can't. And the reason why is because my personal philosophy is that if the creator themselves pitches a product, it's because it's either not good enough or it's unsuccessful and they're just trying to promote it to increase sales. And so I don't want to stoop to that level. <laughs> What was your thought process on the ending of Iron Blood and Orphans?、Uh, he previously said he's not seen any of the shows recently, so we're going to pull back over here to the left. Sorry. Alright, so I'll make this quick.、Um, I actually saw you a couple years ago over in San Diego, and one of the questions I never got to ask was、um, obviously, you've had a lot of experience and you've drawn off that from your own personal experience for the work to up the Cold War and make the things you have.、Um, One of the greatest things we have in America here, in my opinion, is Star Trek and the kind of space odyssey genre around that. Do you find that you've drawn a lot of inspiration from Star Trek or from any of the space odyssey American films? <laughs>
的には基本的にありません、えー、と自分がもう宇宙物を作ろうと思っている時にスター・トリックが始まってましたから参考にしている暇はないんです So actually, sadly, no. And the reason why is because when I started writing my own Space Odysseys, yes, sure, Star Trek and Star Wars was already out there. But because I was working on my own project, I had no time to watch any of them. So I can't say as I've actually get, gained any sort of inspiration because I simply was not immersed in it. Only a few more now, so over here. Thank you for taking our questions.、Um, I'm writing a history master's thesis about、uh, Gundam Wing in post war memory in Japan. And、um, I, I know you're not credited、uh, for directing or screenwriting for Gundam Wing, but I was wondering if there was any other way that、um, you influenced that project of Gundam Wing. No, sorry, we have to move on. I have to stay focused. I'm going to make this brief. Your works have taught me to care about soldiers. To care about the environment and to make sure and vote that unjust wars are never fought. Do you realize just how much you've inspired all of us in this audience to be better people? And people, clap for him if he has.